good morning and a very warm welcome. You are watching Janata Television and this is the English Bulletin with me, Anusha Acharya. The top stories first. Government to provide Rs 1 million relief to Dhami's family. Cabinet meeting allows clinical test of vaccines in Nepal. UML to move court against election commission decision. Central committee decides to sack leaders who joined new party. UML Unified Socialist to join coalition government soon. Chairman Nepal accuses only of wavering from the principle of Marxism. Twin explosions rock Kabul airport, at least 60 civilians killed in the incident. And Chelsea to face Juventus in Champions League, Manchester City draw against PSC in group of death. And now the news in detail. The government has decided to provide Rs 1 million as relief to the family of Jay Singh Thami who went missing in the Mahakali River while crossing the river in Darjula via a twin wire breeze. Government spokesperson and Minister of Law, Justice and Parliamentary Affairs Kanendra Bahadur Karki shared his information while briefing media about the decision of the cabinet meeting held on Thursday. The Council of Ministers has also agreed to allow the clinical trial of vaccines for SARS-CoV to mRNA and cholera. The government has also nominated Vice Chairman of the National Planning Commission Dr. Biswanath Powell to attend the virtual review meeting of the UN high-level Asia-Pacific region of LDCS. Likewise, the cabinet has nominated Dr. Sambhu Prasad Acharya for the post of Regional Director of WHO Southeast Asia. Similarly, the cabinet decided to appoint Dr. Puspa Raman Wagle and Saloni Pradhan Singh as the members of the National Planning Commission and former Chief Judge Jageswar Suvedi as Chairman of the Nepal Law Commission. CPN UML has decided to move the court against the Election Commission's decision to recognize CPN Unified Socialist led by its breakaway faction leader Madhav Kumar Nepal, a report. The Central Committee meeting of the CPN UML also decided to sack the leaders who left the party and joined new party led by Nepal. Yesterday's meeting decided to remove the name of those leaders from the party's archive. UML spokesperson Pradeep Gyawali shared that they had decided to inform the election commission that the party had taken action against those leaders. The CC meeting also ratified the decisions of the standing committee meeting held on Wednesday. Gyawali also shared that UML would welcome those who wanted to return to the party after proper realization of the mistake would give them proper responsibility. Similarly, the meeting has formed a task force to implement the 10-point agreement reached among the UML leaders. The task force comprises General Secretary Iswar Pokhrel, Joint General Secretary Bishnu Powdell, Secretary Gokarna Bista and Standing Committee member Top Bahadur Rai Mazi. UML Chairman KP Sarma Oli also thanked the leaders who worked for uniting the party. Similarly, other CCA members had opened to work to keep the party intact. Chairman of the CPN Unified Socialist Party, Madhav Kumar Nepal, has said that this party will join the coalition government soon. In his first media conference organized by the party yesterday, after getting a letter of certificate from the election commission, Chairman Nepal ruled out possibility of returning back to CPN UML. He also urged other UML leaders to revolt against the establishment and join the coalition government. Leader Nepal further said that his party will cooperate with the the leftist democratic parties as well as the Nepali Congress, Maoist Center and Janata Samajwadi Party, stating that his party would work with devotion to the country and the people. Chairman Nepal said that his party won't be involved in pity interest and ill practices. He clarified that he had a form a new party as the UML under the leadership of KP Oli had moved away from the principle of Marxism. Leader Nepal also said that he would remain active in politics for five years after the next election and will run for power and post like other leaders until old age. 
This is Janata Bulletin. We'll be right back after a short break. Welcome back. After the break, we continue with other national news. The government yesterday confirmed a total of 2,423 new cases of COVID-19 across the country. According to the Ministry of Health and Population, 2,052 cases were identified from PCR test and 381 cases from antigen test. The Health Ministry further shared that 1,929 patients recovered from the disease yesterday. Similarly, the virus claimed 26 lives yesterday. With this, the death toll from COVID-19 has climbed to 10,638 in the country. The ministry further said that the number of active cases of coronavirus in the country currently stands at 38,384. Among them, 35,354 infected people are in home isolation, while 3,030 are in community-based isolation centers. Of the total infected patients, 620 are undergoing treatment in ICU and 165 with ventilator in the country. The ministry added, and now the news from Economic Front. The new government is preparing to replace the budget of the current fiscal year that was introduced through an ordinance. The Ministry of Finance informed that it has started preparations to introduce the replacement bill in place of the ordinance budget brought by the previous government. Accordingly, the ministry held a meeting of the secretariats of various ministries and collected suggestions regarding the replacement bill. The government has started preparations for the replacement bill after the newly formed CPN Unified Socialist and Democratic Socialist Party got recognition from the Election Commission. In the meeting, Finance Minister Janardhan Sarma informed about the priorities of the replacement bill and directed the secretaries to resend the programs. He said that the new government would emphasize on strengthening the implementation of federalism, maintaining fiscal discipline and increasing capital expenditure while amending the ordinance budget. Similarly, various ministries have been asked to send revised proposals giving priority to reducing poverty and increasing employment, availability of equality, health services, education, agriculture and tourism. Time for a short break here at Janata Bulletin. Stay tuned for international news. Welcome back now the international news. At least 60 people have been killed in two powerful explosions outside Kabul's international airport amid a huge and chaotic evacuation effort from Afghanistan. According to Al Jazeera, two suicide bombers and gunmen yesterday attacked crowds of Afghans that had flocked to Kabul's airport in the warning days of an airlift for those fleeing the Taliban takeover. The attacks killed at least 60 Afghans and 12 U.S. troops, Afghan and U.S. officials said. A Taliban official earlier said children were among the dead. The city's main emergency hospital said on Twitter that at least 60 wounded people were transferred to the facility so far. Pentagon spokesperson Joni Kirby said one blast occurred near the airport's Ebe Gate and the other close to the nearby Baron Hotel. You are watching Janata Bulletin and now the latest from the world of sports. Premier League champions Manchester City have been drawn against PSC, Leipzig and Club versus in the Champions League group stays. Holders Chelsea come up against Serie A giants Juventus, Russian club Zenit St. Petersburg and Swedish side Malmo. Manchester United face Villarreal who beat them in last season's Europa League final, as well as Italian club Atalanta and Swiss side Young Boys. Liverpool are in a tough group with Atletico Madrid, Porto and AC Milan. Pep Guardiola's City side, who were beaten by Chelsea last season in their maiden final in the competition, face a brace of 
tantalizing Group A meeting with Lionel Messi's new club PSC. Those matches could see a renewed renew reunion for Messi with all four Cristiano Ronaldo, who has been heavily linked with a move to City from Juventus before transfer deadline day. We are at the end of Channel Tabletin and the headlines once again. Government to provide rupees 1 million relief to Dhami's family. Cabinet meet meeting allows clinical test of vaccines in Nepal. UML to move court against election commission decision. Central committee decides to sack leaders who joined new party. UML unified socialists to join coalition government soon. German Nepal accuses Oli for wavering from the principle of Marxism. Twin explosions rock Kabul airport, at least 60 civilians killed in the incident. And Chelsea to face Juventus in Champions League, Manchester City drawn against PSC in group of death. And that's all from the English News Desk for today. You can follow Janata Television and our programs on various social media platforms, including on our website, janatasamachar.com. Keep watching Janata Television. Namaste.